We cannot figure out how to get him off the counters. We've tried aluminum foil on the counters. He still jumps on it. We've tried a spray bottle. He still jumps on it. So, um, it's a work in progress. Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is Monday and Mohammed left for work. His schedule is always different. So, for anyone who doesn't know, he works in medical device sales like for orthopedic devices so he is either like in a case in the surgery with the doctor like giving them the tools or he's out like trying to recruit new business and so his schedule is always different and today he left like seven he probably left like 45 minutes ago. I get up with him, make sure he like leaves, and then I start my work. So today is kind of it's kind of a weird week because I'm actually going to visit my family tomorrow. So I'm gonna be gone Tuesday and Wednesday. This is my first time going home since I got married. And it's so weird like leaving Muhammad to go home because we've been spending so much time together. Sunday we're leaving for our honeymoon, and I already shared on Instagram, but we are going to um, Santorini, Greece and uh the amalfi coast coast we're staying in positano in italy and so i've been trying to plan it we've booked our tickets we've booked transportation and i've booked the flights the transportation and um dinner reservations for mostly every night but i just need to like make sure everything's good to go so i'm gonna finish that i'm just gonna do a bunch of emails and like uh, kind of figure out if we need anything else for the trip because every time I think of something I am like ordering it on Amazon. I'm kind of running out of time Oh my god, that's him in his litter box. Okay, and that's it. So I'm just gonna take you guys through the day I'm probably gonna go work out later and yeah, just a little typical. I'm still trying to figure out a routine in the new city So I'll just take you guys along for it I just made some breakfast, some eggs and oatmeal, and Mohammed came home, so I made him some avocado toast. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Going to the gym, and I leave this window open, or up for him, because we're not letting him outside yet, just so he can get used to the house, and he doesn't know the area very well yet, so I don't want to let him out, um, so he's just gonna sit here while I go to the gym. One thing I hate about moving somewhere new is not knowing where anything is and having to use the GPS for everything because that's what I've been doing. I'm headed to the gym and I have to use it for literally every time I go out. I'm still working out at the old gym that I used to work out at when I lived at home. I canceled my membership but I still have a few weeks left with it and I'm just working out here until I join Muhammad's gym. I've been going with him like on his guest pass but he only has like a certain amount of guest passes a month and I think I've used all of them <laughs> and um, he's at work so obviously I can't go with him so I'm just gonna go get a workout in. Okay I just got back from the gym and I wanted to, I got some Amazon packages so I wanted to give you all a little haul but my camera's about to die. Let me change the battery. Okay, I ordered this because I drink like sage tea every night, but it's loose leaf and Lauren and I used to drink it together and she bought this for loose leaf tea. So you can steep the tea, you can put the loose leaf tea in here, steep it and then pour it because I had these little like individual things, but they were not working. So I got that. What was in this box? 
That was the teapot. Oh. And then I got a little portable travel mirror for our trip because I don't want to take my Reiki mirror with me to do my makeup. It's just too big. So I got a little portable travel one. I actually got this because Lena has it and always shares it. You can just like stand up. The light on it. Very nice. You driving me crazy. And that's it. Just these two things. Okay, I came to the mall because I need sneakers for Italy. And I'm trying to find some neutral ones. I've got these and these. These are so cute, but I just don't want to ruin them. I'm home. My cheeks are red because it's so hot outside. But also don't mind my office because it's such a disaster in here. Um, I got those Nikes and they were very comfortable. I wanted to share. They're like this. They're like, they were under a hundred and then I had like a $10 off thing from Nordstrom so I used it. And I'm probably gonna take these with us to wear around Italy but I hate because they're so cute. And I don't want to get them dirty, but also that's like a shoe that will match with everything and they're so comfortable. So tonight we're having um, chicken burgers or chicken sandwiches and I am going to let Muhammad season everything because he prefers to season. So I'm just going to let him do that. I prepped some sweet potatoes for sweet potato fries and then I'm going to do some just a few Brussels sprouts. And we'll do these on the same tray. And I'm gonna saute some onions for some sandwiches. I need to show you guys the furniture we got in. I showed it over on Instagram stories. Don't know why I haven't showed you guys because y'all saw the couch at the beginning of this video. So let me show y'all. We got the couches in about a week and a half ago. This is the York slip cover slope arm couch from pottery barn so i did i don't remember the size of them but i did a longer one and then a little bit of a shorter one if you guys remember i actually met with pottery barn and like gave them the dimensions of the living room so they helped me figure out what sizes to get which was so helpful coming into the dining room we've got uh, our dining chairs in and this cabinet but <laughs> Obviously, we don't have a dining table yet, so we're using this little foldable one. And then I've just got some books that I pulled out of a box because I'm going to like style the living room, coffee table maybe, but we don't have a coffee table yet. And then you guys saw the couch upstairs, the living space couch when that came. This has been our hangout spot every single night. I pass out in this corner over here every single night. Actually, last night was the first night that I didn't fall asleep. And then this is kind of like Muhammad's man cave up here. He's got his air purifier. He's got his little sound system. He did like the speakers up here. So it's super cozy at night. When we had our bed delivered, it arrived dirty. There's like some black spots. So they're coming to replace it. But we just have it for here for now. So this bedroom is nowhere near even being complete. We have new side tables and... Uh, nightstands and a dresser coming and then these are the chairs that I got from Lulu and Georgia I love them so much, but Simba also loves them to scratch on them Like mom was like, well at least you can't tell because of the type of material it is I'm like, yeah, but I don't want him scratching on it So we decided that once we get the new bed in here, we're not gonna let him in here um, so for now, I'm just kind of ignoring all house decor until after the honeymoon. Also wanted to mention this bedding is Cozy Earth, which I love, but it's very expensive. I would never pay full price. I've always bought it on sale and I did happen to get a discount code for you guys. It's a sod 40. So I'll put that in the description below if you guys want to check that out. Honestly, the best bed sheets I've slept on. I had them at the house and i washed and washed and washed them until they like i needed to replace them and then we uh got them for the king bed uh, for dinner we made some chicken sandwiches well mohammed made them i prepped i don't know why i have this random pickle this i don't like mayo but this is so good for dipping fries in i just finished 
packing to go home and my friend Layla, um, she saw that we were going to Positano for our honeymoon and she told me about this book to read that has, it's like based in Positano and they talk about like all the places that they went. So I'm going to read it. She said it's an easy read. I haven't read a book in so long, so we'll see how this goes. So I'm just trying to get in the shower. But tomorrow I'm not going to vlog because I really just want to enjoy a time with my family since I haven't seen them since they came here. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was short and sweet, but I just wanted to give y'all something for a little insight on how my life is right now. Um, and then we'll have the honeymoon vlog coming next. But um, next week I don't think there's going to be a video because I really just want to enjoy the honeymoon and try to stay off my computer as much as possible. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. I'm going to do Greece and Italy probably in one vlog. I'm not, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Let me know if I should do one vlog for that or two. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.